So let's make a quick tutorial for hands, okay? Right? So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the things that you want to do, just add a cube. This is how I'm doing them. I just do them with box modeling, right? Add a cube, move it up. And you want to scale things up on the y-axis. I make it kind of like this, see? Maybe a little bit. Whoop. All right, a little bit more like this. Right? And uh, once we're here, just add a loop over here. And now let's add three loops, right? Uh, press all set like this is if you want to do it quickly you don't have to do this this way you can just select one by one up to you however you prefer uh, this is still a little bit too thick let's go like that me I'm gonna press all set to bring up the uh, x-ray vision right select one control shift and then select the other one to select everything in between those two points there we go right press control B to create a bevel go back to uh, uh, vertex select Press Alt set again, right? You see this? Uh, select them all, right? Actually, no, never mind. Just select one, press M, and then hit collapse. M, collapse. M, and collapse. You can also just press Shift R. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do it anyway. Let's see. Yeah, if you press Shift R, it's gonna do it as well. Uh, then select the uh, three top faces and then extrude them. Press K to bring up the knife. I'm sorry I'm going too fast, but yeah. Uh, click, press C to make a straight line, and then press Z to make it go through. There we go. You can see it's gonna be, there we go, on every single side. Do that again. C, Z, there we go. Boom, right? Easy. Uh, now the next thing that we're gonna do, let's see, what shall we do now? Uh, select them all, right? Select, select all the edges, like, for, you know, for this. And then press Ctrl B. No, I'm sorry. Never mind. Again, just select these edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel. And with the uh, just scroll up, scroll up with your um, mouse wheel. Just one time, right? There we go. Do the same here. Scroll up. There we go. Perfect. And now we got this thing, right? Now the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, select the uh, just double click on this uh, edge and select the whole loop. Uh, press Ctrl Plus. A bunch of times until you pretty much get the whole finger right and then uh press shift and right click and this is going to reposition the 3d cursor into one point right click on this thing and switch to 3d cursor basically what this is saying is like hey blender you're gonna make all the transformations based on this point that we just set right and then press s and set to scale down do the same here, select the whole loop, as you can see. Ctrl plus to increase the selection. Shift click to reposition the 3D cursor as set. Scale down a little bit more. Right? This one I'll probably I'm probably gonna scale this down a little bit, just a tiny little bit more. And this is just again, uh, this is just for a quick base for a hand. Like this is gonna be this is not gonna be like the whole hand. But this is just like something that should help you get to that, uh, uh, you know, to that ba basic stage of you having a hand to work on. All right, there we go. Right, perfect. Now let's add a subdiv uh, surface, a subdivision surface modifier. There we go. We have the thing. Now you can see that it's actually taking a little bit of shape. Uh, me personally, I like adding just one loop in here. Uh, after. Once you're like, once you're ready to polish the thing, make sure that you smooth things out because then this is going to be a little bit too sharp. Um, right? Actually, never mind. Disregard that. Let's just add the thumb before we add that one. Right? Uh, just make that. Uh, add another loop over here. Again, E to extrude. I'm sorry. At this point, we do want to remove this thing, right? So just click in here. Go back to individual origins. And if you want to reset the cursor, just press Shift and C. There we go. Right? And now if you want to, you know, go back to your selection, if you want to zoom in in your selection once again, just press period on the numpad and you're going to go there. Right? And now everything's going to rotate. The camera is going to rotate um, using that selection as a, as a center. Right? Then press R. Let's do a little bit of a rotation over here. And then press Ctrl right click. Right? And this is gonna extrude based you, if you do it a bunch of times you see that it's gonna extrude and rotate uh 
the faces depending or vertices or edges your selection right depending on where the mouse but depending on where you click right uh so now let's see let me select this face move it over here uh if you need references guys please remember that you have a hand at the well hopefully you have a hand at the end of your arm hopefully and if you're not if you don't then i'm really sorry i apologize it was a joke it was a i'm sorry i'm stupid sometimes um but uh yeah just select this whole loop again do the same thing that we did for this Control b to add you know to bevel add a bunch of those and um right that's it that's a base for a hand uh let me select this thing select lasso make this selection and i'm just gonna do this real quick and now i just like i like going into sculpt mode and then doing every other adjustments that i need to make for this to turn into a little bit more of a hand right add a little bit of volume for the palm move this up a little bit move this down a little bit there go move this back a little bit right bring this together just a little bit and lastly right uh just select the bottom faces right for these we're using the uh we're gonna be using the loop tools uh add-on it comes with blender just go into edit references if you don't have it enabled for whatever reason go to add-ons and then just type loop tools just type loops it's right there enable it right then make the whole selection just double click on the edge on this edge right click loop tools loop tools i'm sorry and circle now scale on the y-axis or well depending on you know how your hand is faces facing you're gonna you're gonna want to uh you're gonna want to scale this on the side axis whatever that may be i right, just press s in my case it's gonna be y right and then s and x and there we go we can now you can go into um you know sculpt mode and subdivide this thing multi rest this thing and add all the detail that you may need all right anyway bye bye you thank you so much for watching <laughs> ah